वेलकम टू नॉलेज अपडेट चैनल आईसीएआई हैज एस्टैब्लिश आईटीएफजी इन द एस ट्रांजिशन फैसिलिटेशन ग्रुप टू प्रोवाइड सॉल्यूशन टू द कॉम्प्लेक्स इन द एस इश्यूज द आईटीएफजी बुलेटिंस आर इश्यू बाय आईसीआई दैट कवर्स प्रैक्टिकल सॉल्यूशंस एंड प्रॉब्लम्स फॉर सर्टेन इश्यूज विद द ऑब्जेक्टिव टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस अबाउट the compendium and the issues which are already captured by ICI the end as practical issues and solution awareness series has been started in today's bulletin i am going to focus on one very very important issues with respect to in days 110 consolidated financial statements the issue primarily address the point how to do accounting in case of there is a deemed loss of investment in a subsidiary let us look at the case study first the parent had 70% investment subsidiary so that is a control mechanism a company owns a control in another company now other investor has been issued additional shares so 70% of the investment held by a parent is not sold but there is additional shares issued to other investors that's why there is a reduction in the investment of a parent and that is from 70% to 60% so there are two things very important there is no loss of control second thing there is no sale of investment and third thing is basically there is a deemed loss of investment uh, as far as the parent is concerned so questions there are primarily two questions first how to do accounting for this partial deemed disposal of investment for a stand alone books of accounts of a parent second what should be accounting for a consolidated financial statements of a parent now let us look at and understand this case and as far as the first point is concerned as we discussed that there is no sale of investment as far as the parent is concerned so for stand alone books of accounts the investment will remain as it was earlier no change as far as stand alone financial statements separate financial statements is concerned for a parent entity as far as a consolidated financial statement is concerned now what is happening is that there is a reduction in the controlling uh, controlling power of the parent or thereby there is increase of non controlling interest so in consolidated financial statements when we look at the equity there is a portion of nci non controlling interest which has been shown disclosed separately so there is a movement of nci there is a increase of portion of non controlling interest because of the issuance of additional shares thereby reduction of the controlling power of the parent entity so the, as far as para 23 is concerned it provides guidance that these are called equity transactions why there is no loss of control and there is only change is that the non control interest should be increased so paragraph b96 business of our conclusion mentioned that one has to adjust the carrying amount of the controlling and non controlling interest so there has to be reallocations within the equity no impact on profit and loss statement within the equity only there will be reallocations of the percentage so in this case 10% nci has been increased so there will be a shift of a 10% from controlling to non controlling that is what is required so i think that is what uh, the today's uh, bulletin is taking care of and uh, wishing all of you the happy learning and look forward for the next issue thank you so much